Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 77, and strange as it is to say, we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger, even though it says the end there, and in the last episode we defeated Lavos, we saved the day, and all that good fun stuff. Uh, we, I, I do want to show one of the features that you get after you beat the game the first time through. We get a fun little video. Oh, maybe I should have saved this for uh, yesterday or the last episode. Yeah, I guess I should have. Huh. Well, this is what you get for showing up for the extra one. That's all right. This part was always implied in the SNES game, but uh, in the remake, they're they're more expressly calling it out. Is he actually Sir Glenn now? Because uh, we didn't do the part where he actually gets cured. You see, uh, if you remember a while back, when we killed Magus, instead of letting him join the party, that's when Glenn turns back into a person instead of the frog. So it's kind of interesting that the animation assumes that you uh, did that particular request that particular way. <laughs> our weaponsmith is now our wine dealer. I, I do like that the port included these things. I... I I didn't see any of the notes anywhere where these little animations and whatnot came from. I'm guessing they actually came from the uh, DS port. I know at least one person in the comments has been playing the DS port, and it'd be nice to know if that was uh, if this is from there or from something else. Oh. What is this all about? Okay, I'm legit curious about that last part. I don't remember that being a part of it. Oh, it's the upgrade staff. Good. Oh. Oh, interesting. There are the two additional dungeons. I thought those were only I thought those were only in the uh, DS version. Okay, the dimensional vortex was not supposed to be available in the Steam port, but uh, clearly it is because there we are looking at it. Huh? I wasn't planning on doing that because I didn't think it was a part of the game, but uh, ooh, that's tempting. Although. Now, now I'm going to have to go uh, spend a little time looking up exactly how to get there. Ending number one, beyond time. Clear count, one times. Save game completion data? Yes. Overwrite existing save data? Yes. So now we've got new game, load game, and new game plus. So we're going to go ahead and pick the uh, Dreams End, the one that we just finished. Load this file. Yep. All right, we're going to go ahead and take the default names again. So we'll go ahead and accept that. Is Chrono correct? Yes. This should look familiar. It's the way we started the last go around, way back in episode one. <laughs> hey guys, plus. 
<laughs> Thank you for that. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm still kind of surprised about that. I didn't realize that the, the dimensional vortex was in the steam port. Because everything that I read said that it wasn't there. Chrono. Chrono. Chrono, are you still sleeping again? This is like a bad version of Groundhog's Day. Here we go again. <laughs> Come on, sleepyhead. It's time to get up. Dear me, I'd forgotten how beautiful Linny's bell sounds. Come on. You must have been so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Well, you'd better not let, let that giddiness get you into any trouble. I want you to behave yourself today. Sure, Ma. Okay, Ma. Come on now. Out of bed. Out of bed with you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so pretty much here we are at the new game. It's about time. By the way, you're going to see... Oh, dear. What was her name? That young inventor friend who's going to take the same name that she had the last time. The one the game gives you. Luca, you're going to stop by and see your new invention at the fair, aren't you? Well, run along then. And look at that. Here we are. We're starting off at level 61 with all our hit points, our magic points. If you look at the equipment, though... <laughs> uh, well, we got the wooden saver, or we can go back to, up to our rainbow, which, uh, yeah, that was the highest one, although we had the few others to sell off. And the hide cap, no, well, oh, I don't remember if it was the prismatic helm or the uh, guardian helm. I think it was the prismatic helm. Yeah, because everybody else had the vigilance hats. All right, so we'll put the uh, prismatic helm on there. Oh, yep. And this is where we got all the really cool armor, like the moonbeam armor, the saurian armor, and the dragon armor. 83, 85, 88. I'm trying to remember what we had on Chrono the last time. I, I guess that, that's my fault for not taking note of that. Uh, but you can see that we've got all, all the uh, armors and whatnot that we had collected. So let's uh, no, it wasn't the Saurian armors because uh, we had to bump them up to fourteen. So it must have been the it must have been the Moonbeam armor. And oh yeah, this is definitely going to end up being the. Uh, the gold ring, the one that, or is it golden earring? No, uh, golden stud. There we go. And there's all eight of them. So that means I have everybody's items from earlier. Of course, you probably noticed that with all the extra vigilance hats and uh, all the different armors that are in my inventory too. So when you go selling stuff to uh, get your money back, because if you'll notice, uh, you got the 400 gold you normally start with. You got the inventory that you normally start with. You've got everybody else's stuff too. But, um, <laughs> that, that, that means please, 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 for the sake of your, your cohorts, don't accidentally sell their armor. <laughs> They're not going to like that. All right. You got my allowance? I appear to be a little short on cash. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. Yay! 200 gold. <laughs> Alright, so I guess you're not going to get to the Dimensional Vortex until you get the Epoch, which is uh, a little later in the game that I'm ready to go through on a second playthrough, especially uh, 70, 77 episodes in. So let's uh, let's just go about things. I'm not going to go running around everywhere. I'm going to try to hurry up and get to 
a part of the New Game Plus. Although, Melchior the Swordsmith. Sure. This is where you can definitely go in. And if you remember, we bought a whole bunch of, uh, where did they go? No, 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 no. Uh, no, not the brave sword. Stock in stock. There we go. The Zanmatos. We had dumped a whole bunch of money into 99 of those. And while it's not of no use to us, that is a quick way to get our money back up. Two. Oh, there we go. We got 841,000. No, sorry, 842,000. Um, and we can do similar with the other stuff that we had stocked up on to, uh, to get things along the way. That's a good way to get things moving. Let's go ahead and bump into her. Oof. Now, if you want to try things different to get a different outcome at the trial, this isn't a bad time to do it. Like if you pick up the pendant first and then talk to Marley, you get a little different outcome in the trial. We're not going to go quite that far on uh, this episode. Uh oh, my pendant. Oh no, my pendant. Don't tell me I lost it. Hey. Oh, thank goodness. I know it doesn't look like much, but it has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Yep. Yada, yada, yada. And, and this is the same, this is the same chat that you have. Why don't we walk around together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? Sure. This will be fun. All right. And then we'll go ahead and get, keep Marley her name. Except, is it correct? Yeah, yes it is. What a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Etc. Etc. And now that we got Marley back, we'll see that she is still level 57. And we can go ahead and give her her high level stuff. Uh, 35, 36. Yeah. She had one of the prismatic dresses. And she also had the golden stud. Because that cuts down on the magic points. <laughs> the magic point usage. Oh, almost forgot. That is the other nice thing. You have all your techs now. <laughs> so all those guys that were a hard, hard fight, you can just you know, nuke them with Luminaire and uh, it's over. Like, if you want to go all sorts of overkill... Let's, uh, come on, kitty. Let's get the cat over to the kid. Because we're trying to make sure we do enough stuff that, uh, we'll be able to get to the next part. You brought my, my cat. Thank you. You're so sweet. This is you. All right, let's do the drinking contest. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, ran out of table. <laughs> Not bad. I'll put five silver points on your card. You're awfully competitive, aren't you? <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit. All right. Preparations are still underway. My dear old wife made that lunch for me. Always the highlight of my day. That's right, because you can normally uh, <laughs> eat his lunch. All right. Well, before I forget, let me go back to the settings. Um, make sure that it didn't battle mode, weight, speed. Probably could have used a better message. Uh, oh. Okay. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Because we played this with the original graphics on the first go-round. 
Alright, remember how Gato used to be a really tough fight in the beginning? <laughs> Hooray, overkill. <laughs> I mean, he's only got like a, a hundred and some odd hit points, but hey, let's hit him for 2,400, you know, just because. <laughs> um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, uh, man. Okay, chat is supposed to show up in that box right below me, but uh, since I switched from Restream to Twitch, it doesn't seem to be working quite right. Um, it showed up a little earlier, but not now. And uh, I am playing the Steam port of the game, which is why the, the casting options might be in a different... Oh, unless you're talking about casting to the TV. Ah, okay, good. And there's your chat showing up on, on there. Okay. Oh, oh, maybe it disappears. I, I'm, I'm still trying to get used to the new, uh, the new Twitch setup. All right. So we got that still not there yet. We've got other things to do, right? So let's go yada, yada dance. All right. No, not going to let me go. <laughs> have you heard the gossip? Why, no, I have not. Well, just between us, I heard that the king is tearing his hair out over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once I'd like to meet her and see how wild she really is. Ha ha ha. You're talking to her right now. Don't even know it. All right. Uh, play some more games. Oh, come on. There we go. Way to go. One silver point. What else did I need to do? Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to go see Luca's device. Oh, just a minute. I want to get some candy. Of course. And remember, if you want the good outcome, sit there and semi-patiently wait. Uh, she's not chasing me. She's following me. She's a part of uh, the party. Step right on up, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is what we went through back on episode two or three, where we went through the hop on up here. No, not a stalker. Uh, <laughs> and you'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter. Yada, yada. Because what we want is we want the incident to happen. All right, give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. I was wondering when you'd show up. No one wants to try my telepod. Would you be so kind? Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Says you. Hop on to the left pod. The uh, limited animations begin. And there we go. Ooh, amazing. And then Marley goes. All right. Yeah, I know I'm skipping through the dialogue. We, we've been through this uh, back in episode two or three, because what I want to get to is one of the features of the new game plus. 
after this little incident here where the machine goes haywire and Marley accidentally gets sent to through the time portal. What's happening? The plot is happening. Don't worry. Just let it happen. Oh no. That thing that happened a while ago happened again. <laughs> a little bit of history repeating. <laughs> She's not reappearing. Oh, well, all right. The girl has vanished before your very eyes. Show's over. Nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. Where is she? <laughs> what happened? Yada, yada, yada. And Luke is going to go run off. I'm going to grab the pendant. Oh, no, oh, no, no. I didn't want to grab that. Shoot. Uh, is there any way to skip out of here? Ah, uh, because what I wanted to do is there's a little flashing thing on the right pod that will actually jump you straight to the battle with Lavos. That is one of the ways to get a special ending, but you got to solo him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that can be rather intriguing. More power. All right. Um, oh, bother. And then we do our little time travel. And then we end up back in the past. Again. Um, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. These, these guys think they're going to jump me. That's the other nice thing about doing the new game plus is you can do this and overkill. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of Doctor Who. A little bit of Doctor Who, except you don't have a TARDIS. You're, you're going through uh, time portals and stuff. All that for 6 XP. <laughs> and 36 bucks. Alright, uh, here's what I'm going to do. Now, for those of you new to the stream, the way I do the Games Revisited bit is I record... Uh, the live stream is a live recording in the next six episodes that go up on YouTube. So, thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live right now, hang tight. There's still a little bit more to come. And if you're watching later on YouTube and you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below the video. And if you haven't already, follow on Twitch to get notified when I go live. It's that little heart icon in the top right corner. And uh, you'll get notifications when I go live and all sorts of fun stuff like that. And if you haven't already, go to the YouTube channel and subscribe there as well. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me just a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.